Hi guys, I'm David and this is Jeanette. Together we are Low Range 4x4 Adventures. For the last few years we have been doing some epic trips to amazing locations across Australia. Subscribe and like our videos and hit the notification bell to join us on our adventures. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram. Good morning everyone. Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Today guys, we're going to do the Pennycock Bruni Island Adventure Cruise. I think that's what it's called. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's a, basically a fast boat cruise down the east coast and all the um, cliffs and capes and stuff down the east coast of the south, south part of Bruni Island. Um, As you can see, absolutely picture yeah. perfect day. Yeah. We have been so lucky with the weather for this one. Yeah, and like literally every time we've done something amazing in in Tasmania, we've been blessed with brilliant weather. Mm. So we are so stoked because it is getting pretty cold at night down here now. We're in May, so so yeah. So today we're off on the cruise and. Um, yeah, it's a pretty amazing cruise. People speak so highly of it, so we can't wait. So we'll get out there and take you along for the adventure. Hoping we see some seals. <laughs> yeah, seals, maybe whales, dolphins. Yeah, so should be amazing. Awesome. Yeah. All right, let's get into it. So guys, these are the boats we go on the cruise on. So they're open boats. Um, and they reckon it gets about 10 degrees cooler down there when we're actually touring. Looks like three boats and uh, there's quite a few people here to go today so it should be, it's going to be a fairly full ride I'd say. So, pretty cool looking boats a lot. This is the Bruni Island Cruises um, reception centre and restaurant. And these are all the people going today on the cruise, which is three or four boats full by the looks of it.
so we just got back from our boat trip and it was so good it was yeah. amazing we went right into these uh, as you've seen like we went right into the caves and just saw the seals and everything so good so all the scenery is just incredible yeah, yeah and so and you've so got to do sweet. this one guys yeah absolutely beautiful day and we weren't going to have lunch at the restaurant here but we decided that we're going to do a walk around um, past Penguin Island after this. A fluted cape walk. Mm, so. That's it. So, mm. and as you can see, these meals, uh, oh my god. Beautiful. Fish and chips, <laughs> yeah. salmon salad. And we've got a bottle of Laurel Bank Sapphire, which is delish. Mm. So, cheers guys. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Guys, we just had an amazing lunch and bottle of wine <laughs> at the restaurant. Do you know the name of the restaurant? It's um, I don't know. It's the it's the <laughs> Bruni Island cruise restaurant thing. It's owned by the same people that do the cruise. Yeah. So amazing meal it was so delicious mm. but because i've had a couple of glasses of wine we need to do a walk before we drive back to camp <laughs> so we're doing the fluted cape walk and we're going to go past east cove grass point around past penguin island fluted, fluted cape and sort of back on this inland track back to here so it's Two and a half hours return, so they say. I don't know what on. What's the time, honey? About half past three. So, so it'll be pretty dark be by pretty the time dark we get by back. The time we get back, yeah, but which will be okay. interesting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. We better hook in. So we're just coming into the actual national park section now, along the walk, and um, this along this beach here is um, history of a whole heap of whalings whaling stations so huge whaling history here when we went on the boat this morning from basically the jetty to the first point the um, Mick who's the skipper skipper on the boat said there was basically five whaling stations mm. along that stretch of coastline which was what like only a couple of a kilometer a couple yeah. of kilometers yeah yeah so sad there is um, the remains of the granite house that was built, two-room house that was built for James Kelly when he had his whaling, whaling station here in the late, or around the 1830s. It's so, a Lucas Kelly whaling station. Yeah. So in 1997... Yeah, some archaeologists, some students from La Trobe and somewhere else universities came down here and uncovered this um, two-room dwelling made out of local granite. So you can kind of see where the walls were. So not a very big house, but it was a house. Mm. So, so um, James Kelly was the whaler who circumnavigated Tasmania in a whaling boat and actually charted a lot of the coast. Mm. He named the Gordon River. Yeah, discovered mm. Macquarie Harbour, found the Hewan Pine. So, pretty uh, famous guy. Oh, how cute. So not real worried about us. No. That's Penguin Island, guys. Right there. That's Apparently, this is... Um... Captain Bly put the first goats and chickens on the Australian mainland on this island. But apparently when the tide went down, they just left because they could walk straight off it. Yeah. So, so I'm pretty sure you can walk over to there and have a look around, but we're just out of time today, which is such a pity. So we're going to start heading up towards Fluted Cape now. Um, it's quite a climb apparently up to the top oh, and there's little wallabies everywhere <laughs> having an afternoon munch they probably thought all the humans were gone by now
about uh, halfway up to the top of the fluted cape and uh, Jeanette's peeled off two layers of clothes so far. What do you reckon the odds are that she could be naked by the top? <laughs> Believe me, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> the, way she's, the way she's heating up, she could be totally naked by the top. Stay watching, guys. Um, we're now taking off so our socks and shoes. I double layered everything socks, pants, shirts, because we were going to be on the boat. And they're like, oh, you know, it's freezing. But now that we're doing this walk, we're running, melting. Running out of layers pretty quick here, so <laughs> there they, they could be nudity yet. <laughs> there is never going to be nudity. <laughs> Come on. Just carrying half my wardrobe over fluted cape. <laughs> All right. So now Jeanette is carrying my jeans, my a shirt, shirt, a jumper, and a vest. And a vest. Jumper. Like I said, half my wardrobe. <laughs> That's it. Oh. Holy crap. <laughs> She's a wild climb. Hopefully not too much further to go. We made it to the top guys. Absolutely incredible views back to Mount Wellington, the neck, North Bruni. Tasman Peninsula all the way over absolutely gorgeous and uh, the sun's just setting so we need to get our asses down the hill before it's dark we just got back to so we've just got back to the junction of the track that heads over to Penguin Island or Grass Point or Grass Point yeah. um, and the track that comes down from Fluted Cape. Sunset and, looks beautiful. Yeah, so we're sort of nearly at last light. <laughs> we're, we're actually fumbling our way through the dark. Yeah, it's pretty dark, <laughs> eh? Like, what you're seeing on the camera now, on the screen now, is a bit brighter than what we're seeing in front of us, so. Yeah. But... All right, guys, we'll uh, wrap this one up here, I think. We've had a lovely day. It's been and, an amazing day. Yeah, um, an amazing cruise, incredible lunch, and an epic walk up a mountain. Um, so it's been an awesome day. You guys. Thank uh, you so much for watching, guys. Yeah, thanks for watching. And if you get down here, this is, yeah, a oh, definite, definite list item. Definite so. must do. And uh, guys, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, ding that notification bell, throw us a thumbs up, send us your questions, comments. We love answering them, love talking to you guys. And we'll catch you on the next one. Stay safe, everyone. Bye. Bye.